Dana Milbank writing at the Post today, um, he had a headline that said the GOP response to Trump is one hell of an indictment. <laughs> I thought, what? Wait a minute. What, what's what's Dana saying? But um, it, it, you know, I agree with him. It really is no surprise that these uh, scum in the U.S. House, the Christian fas- fascists in the U.S. House, leaped to Trump's defense after news the indictment broke yesterday. And as Milbank points out, what was really striking, and I agree, really got my attention too, was how many of these elected so-called Republican officials now sound just like Trump. It's been a complete body snatcher thing. It really has. Trump... In his statement, after he found out that finally he was going to have to go to a court of law with some serious charges against him, he said, political persecution. Well, immediately, Paul Gosar, this little Nazi prick from Arizona, and Claudia Tenney, another little Nazi prick from New York, and Diana Harshbarger from Tennessee, and Josh Brechin from Oklahoma, in unison, they all said, political prosecution. Persecution. (laughs) And then Trump announced on his toy website, blatant election interference. And then Elise Stefanik, that psycho from New York, said, this is unprecedented election interference. (laughs) And House Speaker, the little cowardly prick Kevin McCarthy, he had to pipe up, an attempt to interfere in our presidential election. And then Trump said, Witch hunt and George Santos, that little phony bastard, and Lauren Boebert <laughs> and Ralph Norman of South Carolina and the child raping Matt Gates and all of them piped up. Witch hunt, witch hunt. And then Trump said, weaponizing our justice system. And then the Klansman without the hoods, Steve Scalise. The majority leader from Louisiana and David Rouser from North Carolina and Austin Scott from here in Georgia and Rich McCormick from here in Georgia. They all joined in weaponizing, weaponizing. It's incredible. They're like magpies. And they, they, they copied what Trump was saying in other ways uh, too. In, in their vulgarity. The Q bitch from here in Georgia, Marjorie Green, she said, enough of this witch hunt bullshit. Representative Brian Mass to Florida. This is complete and utter bullshit. Um, Ronnie Jackson, that doctor freak who is now a representative from Texas. Witch hunt. Alvin Bragg is a national embarrassment. And they were demanding vengeance, too. Daryl Issa, Issa, that crazy bastard from California. No, he's not dead. He's still around. He said, Hunter Biden, call your lawyers. Oh, that's so cute. That really is, Daryl. What was he, a car salesman, I think, and was indicted so many times. And the little weasel, Kevin McCarthy, said, the House of Representatives will hold Evan Bragg and his unprecedented abuse of power to account. Oh, the fuck you will. You're not going to do nothing of the sort. Shut up. Sit down. Go ask Marjorie T. No, go ask Lauren Boebert if you can go behind the Capitol building and pee. Jesus. Ronnie Jackson tweeted this. When Trump wins, these people will pay. (laughs) And Paul Gosar, that little slimy rat, he added this. The regime occupying our country and systematically killing America is most afraid of President Donald J. Trump. (laughs) And here's the thing, you know, the the orange vomit watches and listens to all this. And and it's it's better for him than masturbating. I I, I mean, it really is. Um, He just loves this. It gives him a rush that he hasn't had since the last time he tried to rape a porn star. Uh, for 30 seconds, but it is, it, it's sexual to Trump. He loves it. <laughs> oh God, that's disgusting. The little rats now, the little Nazi rats that are running around this country, uh, 
and now they have a real cause they can they can get behind, you know, stopping uh, the proper, justifiable, legal, constitutional prosecution of a criminal grifting son of a bitch who has skated all his life away from any kind of accountability. And now it seems like maybe that little spider trap door is going to close on him. Let's hope. Um, who else? Oh, yeah. Uh, Paul Gosar again. He said, the regime occupying our country and systematically killing America is most afraid of President Donald J. Trump. Oh, my God. Uh, and, and then there were the, 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 uh, the terrorists, the Christian terrorists who are in the U.S. Congress who are trying to stoke um, paranoia among these unstable assholes that support Trump. For example, Andy Biggs, this jack off from Arizona, he said, quote, if they can come for him, they can come for anyone. Well, no shit, asshole. That, that's why it's called a criminal justice system. I, I mean, um, when are you going to discover that water is wet and, uh, you know, the stars come out at night? <laughs> if they can come for him, they can come for anyone. Yeah. If you treat the law like it doesn't exist, you're right, Andy, you stupid shit. Um, now, the, these are all Christian fascists who still want to say that they're, they're part of the GOP or the Republicans. But you don't need reminders that who owns the Christian fascist party. That's uh, Donald Trump. Here's an example. Earlier this week, the House Administration Committee held a hearing where the scum, the Christian scum sitting on the panel, representatives, uh, and the scummy witnesses they brought in not only echoed Trump's big lie from the, the, the 2020 attempt to destroy democracy in this country, but they also said, without any evidence, they don't need evidence, that there was, quote, Government voter suppression followed by a cover up in the 2022 House race in Pennsylvania. <laughs> um, do you have anything that might be in the same county as proof? No, you don't. I think this is a group that immediately after they made their statements, they got up and ran like a bunch of little cockroaches in the. Uh, <laughs> A couple of Democrats on this panel complained to uh, uh, jack off, uh, jack it off Jim Jordan. You're going to let these people just make their bullshit statements and run out without questioning? Did you see any of that video? That was fun to watch. Um, anyway, the Republican or the Christian fascist mimicry of Trump should... As Dana Milbank points out, put one thing in very sharp focus, and that is the debate about whether this helps or hurts Trump fight for the Republican nomination is beside the point. When it comes to any would-be Republican standard bearer, the mantra is clear. We are all Trumpians now. (laughs) Oh, my God. Oh. So, (laughs) I just have to pause. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits, like me, Mike Malloy, 24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network it's a listener supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast so hosts like me mike malloy can, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like we're often controversial but we're never boring weeknights 9 p.m in the east 6 p.m in the west on the progressive voices network always progressive always on i'm mike malloy keep it lit